Okay, today's a cooking related video. We're going to cook in the back of this uh, six wheel drive Land Rover. It is, of course, windy and I'm also very run down. Let's have a look at the mayhem that is the back of this Hambo. So, this is home sweet home when we're away. We have a boiling vessel here and we also have a travel buddy 24 volt oven with one of these guys in here as well. We're going to go inside where it's less windy. One thing I will do is because it's a cloudy day, our solar is not going to keep up, so we might hook up to uh, shore power. Hook up this one and we'll grab an extension lead. This is a tricky shot to do one handed, I didn't come prepared for this. Alright, hooked up to shore power, we'll put a waterproof cover over that because there's a 90% chance of rain today. That will run the mains charger. We have two 135 amp hour deep cycles in there. We also have our solar and we have a 100 amp 24 volt secondary alternator. To give you some backup or some concept, these are the two batteries I just took out of here. They're in the junk pile so it's dirty, don't mind that. They dropped the cell. Anyway, let's uh, shut this up so the rain doesn't get in. Go inside and prep our meal. Alright, we're inside. These things are made by uh, Somerville Metal Works. Um, this one was donated by uh, Mr. Mido. And, uh, we've done some collaborative videos together before. Now, I've added some aluminium foil in the bottom here, but you've got this removable trivet, um, or rack here rather. We're going to whack the chicken straight on that. Um, generally because this sits on the very bottom of the uh, oven, which heats at the bottom. And so we'll burn the crap out of things if we don't. So we're going to put our chicken on the top of this, but we have to wait for it to thaw and then we're going to marinate it first. Now, we are between pay weeks at the moment, so we are using what we have. Um, we're going to use some red wine and garlic marinade because that's what we had laying around. And um, this is not bad stuff. We're going to leave this, uh, the chicken in this for a few hours. It hasn't thawed yet, but we'll get there. I also said the word chicken too many times and the, uh, the local magpies heard me. Right, I've got several videos filming simultaneously today, so things are a bit out of whack. Let's get our chicken sorted. Now this really feels like they packed this chicken with water. Just to make it weigh a bit more. This is from our local butcher and they're pretty good, but they do get the chicken in from elsewhere. And chuck the whole bottle in here. that out and reuse that one. All right, get all this mixed around in here, let it defrost in marinade. One additional step here. All right, that will help. One thing I don't like in the fridge is uh, raw meat that's exposed. Three hours later. All right, we've transferred everything in here. The time is to put it in the oven and warm everything up. We're gonna drag this outside and put it in the oven. All right, we're outside. Swing this out. We haven't bothered to preheat it. We're just gonna add some extra time on. Gonna bump that up to, I'm gonna say about 180, although things cook better about the 200 mark. We're going to give this 90 minutes. I think the LED stopped working on that again. I will open it one day and check it out. Now I need to know if I've got power attached. These are on the same circuit, so yes, I do have power to it. Even though the LED is not working. And I did do a video on changing that after I talked to the uh, supplier. And there's extra insulation behind it. I don't know why it stopped working. Either way, we'll leave that on. We'll come back in an hour and a half and uh, see what it looks like. One hour later. So naturally I wanted to film stuff and it started raining, but it goes with the turf. Oh, everything in here smells like garlic and red wine. And I can see a bit of smoke or steam coming out of that. Let's um, grab the gloves out and open this up. 
I'll see what things look like. Could be a bit difficult with chicken to uh, see. Let's have a look. We will change our angle to the footstep because that's where I'm going to put things. Here we go. Honk this here for a sec. Shut the oven door. We'll give it a good look at the top. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. I'll give it about another 15 minutes, is about as long as it's going to take for the veggies. And we'll come and get it. My apprentice is doing some filming right now. So uh, we'll see how the camera work goes. We're about to pull the uh, meat out of the oven here. So we're going to turn things off. Turn it down. Thing off it goes. Turn off the battery connection. There we go. We're going to take this inside. We'll sit it there for a minute. We'll close the oven. Actually, I might leave that open to dry out. It might be a good idea. Right, let's bring this inside. Okay, want to have a look, Sierra? Mm -hmm. See what you reckon of that? Ooh, How's that look? Dumb. Good stuff, huh? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's get our dinner served up. Alright, we'll see how cooked through this is. Oh, it's soft and tender and beautifully cooked through. Look at that. This is some amazing chicken, and I'm going to taste it. Ooh. Oh, that's better than I would have done in the pan at home. Yum. Good stuff. Uh -huh. I'm going to eat stuff. and we'll see you later.